Hi, I'm Paul Meeker, Manager of Product Development for Blue Quill. There are many ways to grade in Blue Quill, and this video is going to show you some of those ways, along with the new grade grid features and BQ Docs. So let's get started. Find the grade grid, open your course, and click on Grade Grid at the top of the screen. The grid view gives you your traditional view that looks like a spreadsheet. If I want to enter scores, I can click on the cells one by one and enter my numbers with the keyboard. Or I can use keyboard shortcuts by clicking tab or the arrow keys or shift tab to move around this grid. To enter comments for students, hover over a cell and click on the speech bubble icon. From here, I can type in a comment and click the X to close out of it. I don't have to click save or anything because it automatically saves my comment. If I want to do bulk grading, meaning I want to grade an entire assignment for all the students in that column, I can click on the cells, hold down the control key, and that will highlight many of the cells at once. From here on the right, I can click my score. So everyone here maybe got a 50, and I can add a comment that would go to all these students. Here, I will click Save. If I need to download submissions for offline grading, I can do so by clicking these cloud icons. The orange cloud icons represent submissions that are new since the last time I logged in. The gray cloud icons are submissions that I've downloaded previously. Click on the cloud to download this to your computer. I can also upload feedback to the students using a file. To do so, click on the speech bubble icon and you'll see another cloud icon with an up arrow that says feedback. Click on this to find the file that you want to send to the student. Now when you publish grades, that file will be sent to that student. As I'm grading, you'll notice that the boxes turn blue. This means that these items have yet to be published. To publish these items, click the publish button. Once I publish, the students can then see their grades and their feedback. You can also grade an assignment right within the assignment inside the object. We call this in-object grading. To do this, click on an assignment, and on the right-hand side, you'll see a roster of students. This roster will tell you who's submitted and when they've submitted an assignment. The red check mark means it was submitted late, and a green check mark means that it was submitted on time. To view a student's submission, click on the student's name. From here, I can see the files that the student has submitted. This allows me to grade right alongside the assignment. I can actually provide feedback inside of this document without having to download and upload the file. To do so, I can click on this ribbon for annotations. So this is an annotation. I can actually edit the document and add my comments inside of it. Or I can click the overlay button, which will give me a number of options. From here, I can draw on top of the document, which the students will see. Or I can add these post-it notes inside of the document as well. I can save my changes and then share this back to the student by clicking on the share icon. If I need to download the original file, I can do so by clicking on this cloud icon right here. This will give me the original format that the student submitted. Another feature inside of in-object grading are rubrics. If there is a rubric in this assignment, you'll see it alongside the student name inside the roster. From here, you can select boxes to grade the student. You'll notice as I select the boxes of how the student did, it will add the score at the top as a total. And then I can publish this grade just like any other grade. I can also see the details of each box by clicking on these arrows. This will tell me how the student should do in order to receive that grade inside of that box. When I'm done with the rubric and I publish the grade, students will be able to see their rubric inside their view of the assignment as well. That's grading in Blue Quill. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.